Well, I bet you weren't expecting to see my mug as quickly as this, were you? Hard luck. Um, <clears throat> I had a chance while, after I made my last video that you're watching at the moment, uh, to use some products that I'd previously bought, and I bought another one yesterday, and I had a chance to test that. And I'm very impressed with them. So, I thought, if I'm impressed, tell everybody you're impressed, because I'm not an easy guy to please. So let's have a look, you've seen the, the screenshot so you can see the products but let's see what I have to say about them. So what's got my attention so much that I've decided to do a quick little video just after I've already done one. Well it's these three products here. So, <clears throat> I bought these um, basically because I thought, yeah, that might be good, that might work, that might be useful, etc, etc. So, and I, I have used two out of the three and tested one of them. So, let's start first. I bought these wheel painting masks. Uh, come in three sizes, 14mm, 13mm and 10mm. Um, I bought two of each at the time. And um, I just thought I'll give them a go. On Sunday I had a chance to use the 13mm while I was painting some coach wheels for my teaks. And I thought they were bloody brilliant. Um, you take your wheels off, or some people take the wheels off just for the sake of painting them. Um, you just literally slot them into the holes and get on with it. <laughs> it couldn't be easier. So I painted them, let them dry, blasted them over with some matte varnish, done. No paint on my fingers, uh, no, no varnish gone everywhere. They're just fantastic bits of kit. And obviously, um, at the time when I bought them, I only bought two of each, as I said, but I've now ordered another four of the 13mm set. Now, if you can see, they're actually produced by Bunter's Yard, um, which he's on YouTube, I watch him myself. Um, I ordered them from eBay, and it's actually another YouTuber who sends them out, and that's Dibs Yard. Um, he has a little shunting layout, which he's uh, on with, which is quite trick, to be honest. So, yeah, if you're in a... The market of paint and wheels and what have you. I can't recommend these enough. Um, I think they're absolutely brilliant little things. They're not expensive. They're very basic. You just basically got to glue this into the sides, and that's it. You're done. And I, well, you can see there. Look, that one's covered in frame dirt. They're brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So save yourself a lot of hassle and go and buy some of them off eBay. Right, the next ones. Another thing that I saw on eBay that I'm very impressed with is these. Porter House models on eBay. And what are they? The magnetic couplings. What's so exciting? Not, not well, on face value, nothing. I've got a pack, some packs of nine and a halfs and some packs of eleven and a halfs. I don't know whether he did any others, I didn't look. I know he's got a starter pack, which I'm guessing has various sizes to try. But I bought them and I thought I'm going to give this a shot. So, oh, there you go. It's an NEM, but look at this. It's cranked. They actually have pivot points on them, which I think is bloody brilliant because there are some wagons that I am sure the magnets will try to pull apart or you could derail because of them. So these are fantastic. Um, how many is in a pocket? Packet, rather. There are one, two, three. There's five of them in a packet. Now, the other thing I like about it is. It says you can put them either way around. So this side, you don't see the magnets. Now, I normally run the Hornby Buckeye Cutlers because I like the way they look, but the one thing I hate 
is the big shiny magnet so I'm touching them in with black to hide them I don't have to with this but the other good thing is because you don't see the magnets etc this looks like a straight coupler now on the uh, Freightliner wagons they were known to be joined with straight poles I'm thinking these would be brilliant for that because if you're looking down straight on when the wagons are straight it looks like a straight bar not a pole a straight bar uh, because you don't see any shiny metal magnets or anything so again another product that I think is quite clever now I've fitted one I've tried it they seem every bit as strong as the Hornby Buckeye coupler to me um, but I just thought what a trick bit of kit I love the angle ID I think it's fantastic I don't know whether anybody else out there is doing it um, <laughs> I'm probably miles behind the curve on all of this stuff but it's stuff that I bought stuff that I'm impressed with that I felt the need to just chuck it out there and say hey guys look at these if you haven't seen it give it a shot and then the last one these arrived yesterday micro crystal clear it's called micro skill industries tiny little bottles as you can tell compared to my hand um, you get two in a pack I bought them from Amazon uh, and the reason I bought them was because I was looking I've got now uh, nine Lima car transporters and as you all know they've got them horrible plastic crappy looking toy looking cars stuck on top of them which don't look realistic in the slightest and I decided that when I get to that project I'm going to paint them all but one of the big issues with them uh, where is it so there's one of them one of the biggest issues with them as you can see is there's no windows in them and they look like they could be quite awkward to put window I, I would have normally um, used some laminate pouches heated them up and then stuck them in but there's some curves this like going around and that way as well and I thought eh, don't know where that's going to work so I heard about this micro crystal clear and I thought well I'll give it a try and if it's rubbish it's rubbish well it's not rubbish I think it's bloody brilliant so there let's see if I can get a bit more light in by getting the curtain out of the way there is a little model can you see it shining on the windscreen and down the sides on on the windows Oop. maybe dropped it in my coffee and there's the back screen you can see that shining so it's got windows now all for the sake of using this stuff um, there's a little bit of an art to using it which I've kind of not got yet because when I look down the sides of it I think yeah glass doesn't come in that shape but never mind um, you use a cocktail stick you dip it in and then on the window itself you draw around the frame till you've got a lining of the white it looks like PVA once you've got it lined all the way around go to one edge and literally just move your cocktail stick up and down and you'll see it filling with the solution now what I found was load your cocktail draw the line load your cocktail again and come in and just literally up and down up and down or sat yeah up and down sorry up and down up and down and it fills it with this white liquid so I did this last night at about I don't know nine o'clock I thought well I'll do it and I'll see what it looks like in the morning I can actually see it last night before I went to sleep that three quarters of it had dried and as I said I wonder if it's not PVA or a version of PVA because we all know that PVA starts off white and dries clear which is exactly what this stuff has done so for me apart from these cars because I know you're going to think well that's nothing to do with the train I'm getting there so on some of the steam local well every steam local I've worked on don't know what I'm talking about 
there is always the round holes at the window that have got no glass in uh, I've got windows on the sides that have got no glass in now the ones on the sides are easy I can glue a piece of perspex in or um, a, a piece of uh, laminating pouch as I've said but the ones at the front are always really hard to get to and when you put them on you will get those who say well it's not flush with the cab I know it's not how's it gonna be the weird thing about this is you can make them flush if you draw the glue out when you're putting it in it actually brings it proud a tiny tiny bit so it will look more realistic but more importantly it deals with those parts that you can't do um, I'm not saying by any means that I'd want to do an entire coach with it but I think there's a, a, a use for this in windows that you cannot get glazing for that you cannot use perspex laminating pouches the tops off I don't know Christmas card boxes because they're clear if you can't physically do them and you can't or you can't get in or whatever else give this stuff a go it's bloody great so that's it short and sweet I'd like to say jokingly not sponsored by any of these people because I'm only a lowly little channel um, this is just me passing comment because I was impressed with what I've got um, you know some things I've bought and I thought that was crap and I'll never use it again but I'm not a bad guy who is easily pleased um, 9 times out of 10 I expect the worst um, these three things here just impressed impressed at what they do um, all at bloody good prices and all will save you headaches um, so yeah give them a shot eBay eBay and the Microsoft I personally picked up off Amazon I'm guessing they'll probably sell it on eBay I don't know um, but give them a try you know if nothing else get yourself a pack of these porterhouse give them a shot see what you think these I definitely think if you're painting wheels and you're gonna take them off to paint them you won't find anything easier than this that I'm aware of so so simple slot them in just hold the frame paint them varnish them job done brilliant bit of kit um, and the Microsoft well I've showed you the results very very happy so that's it please leave a comment thank you to everybody for watching um, I do enjoy the comments as I keep saying it's nice to get information from people uh, and to just have a kind of discussion about what you've been on about so I'd be interested to see if any of you have got experience of this have bought them have anything to say especially detrimental because I'd like to know what you see as a downside with this stuff um, but yeah just chuck a comment um, and that's it for now thanks very much for watching we'll catch you all again bye bye now